Well, one, one he could have done a better job with. The other one was a tough look. Okay. Yeah. Well, the good news is we've been kind of, you know, it's been a couple weeks in the work, obviously, going out recruiting, and so uh, it's been something that's just been, you know, coming here for a couple weeks. Is there anything specific that you know that you're going to do with them in the next week? No. I mean, you have a lot of decisions to make, though, in regard to recruiting and coaches, especially. Sure. sure. No, I mean, not, nothing in particular just yet. I mean, there's a lot to go, you know, to go through, and uh, the focus is all about winning this game, you know, because if you don't do that, then... Yeah, you don't do a, a service to, to obviously Coach Meyer and the seniors and his team. So the focus was winning on this, uh, playing this game. I think the guys played really good in the first half and kind of hung, hung on there at the end. But then uh, celebrate it tonight and then go go about the business tomorrow. I know there was a report about 10 minutes before the kickoff that my year is going to be on the staff next year. I was wondering if you confirmed it or had any comment on that. No, no, right now just, again, just going to enjoy the game tonight and we'll figure it out tomorrow. We have a deadline on it, but uh, no, it, was, it was fun. Even the locker room, you know, coach kind of handed off the whistle to me. That was a really special moment, so really cool. He really did it. Yeah. What did he say when he did it? No, just in front of the team. It was, it was a really cool moment, special moment. Wash it. Huh? Wash it. Before you use it. Wash, Wash it before I use it? Yeah, <laughs> it's a whistle. Yeah. I would have used the whistle. Good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah, Brian, I'm coach. sorry if you were just asked this, but how does it feel to be the head coach of Ohio State? It's an amazing feeling, yeah. It is. It's uh, you know, to, to, to be the leader of such a special place, a special group of men, this program, Buckeye Nation. Uh, it's an honor. Was there a moment tonight before you're like, "What final ticker went off," and you're like, "Oh crap, it's on"? Well, because the game was so, it was like hanging on there at the end. I never quite had that moment. I thought maybe I would, but. It was like, you know, we're just hanging on there at the end to win. We want to make sure we won the game. And so, uh, but then afterwards, and you know, being on the field was special. Okay, this, this being Urban's last game, has there been a lesson maybe you could take away from just one as coach staff? Maybe just one that stands out? Not just one, no. There's too many to, to, to start with. I mean, day in and day out, the lessons I've learned, you know, go for a long time. Ryan, uh, I don't know, I think officially 12.01 a.m. for Jerry Higgins. <laughs> Obviously, you know, you finished up recruiting at center as the head coach. Is that East Coast or West Coast? Yeah, yeah. East, East Coast. Coast. Yeah, well, just kidding. No, no. We're going we're to enjoy the, enjoy the win tonight and then uh, go about the business of traveling back tomorrow and we're going to work. But is it, is, it, is it hitting you even more and more the midst of the uh, Not really, just because it's been a couple weeks in the work and I've obviously been out recruiting and recruiting the 2019 class. So uh, so it's been kind of, it, it's been coming, so it's not like it just hit me. We're going to announce this tomorrow that he's headed somewhere, maybe he's doing it right now for a while. Who is? Wait, wait. Doing tomorrow, he might be in the NFL. He might be doing it right now. Like I said, for all I know, in the press conference. But what, how ready is he for that step? What, what did you see out of him more than you think? Uh, I saw a lot of growth. I saw a guy who played at a high, high level. Uh, and obviously, he played his best football towards the end of the season. So proud of him there. And it's not an easy decision. This is not one of those things that I know he's going to take lightly. But uh, he's got great counsel with his family, and I know he'll make the right decision. Ryan, I don't mean to questions about the future and everything tonight, but there have been some rumors about the quarterback situation. we got a couple of good quarterbacks in the, in the room right now. Just What do you see from them? And, and I know you like to tailor around the offense. Just how do you think the offense would look with either of those guys? I mean, that, that's going to be for down the road. You know, like that, that, Again, the focus is just winning this game and just got off the field. So we're going to enjoy it tonight and then we'll kind of go from there. Is this the Coach Meyer soundtrack? It's just one thing. There's a lot to go over. You know, we'll have a team meeting when the guys come back on Monday the seventh. Uh, we'll just keep pushing it forward. Right, a lot of the players said it's really important. They feel to have a coach that's a player's coach, especially when you take over a program like this. How important do you feel that is? That you can relate to the players and get the buy-in from them. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what the, the players' coach you know really means, but I know that uh, you know I take a lot of pride in connecting with the guys making sure that you know we connect on a personal level i think that matters you know that they, they play hard for you when when they believe in you and, and you're loved by the coach and so i want to make sure that's a part of what we do moving forward when you hear them say that though what does that what does that mean to you as, as you're taking over a program like this 
Uh, I mean, maybe they're just talking about my personality and the way that I lead, and everybody's different. Um, but, you know, we're going to keep things as much the same as we can, but there's different leadership styles, and I think that'll come over time. Where's that whistle? Is it pocket? No, uh, it's in my bag. <laughs> Ryan, if you guys got out to the 28-3 lead, what change will allow those guys to get back into it? Uh, you know, I don't know, eh? That, that drive that they had in, in the, well, really in the third quarter, they kind of ate up a bunch of clock, and so we never really got into a rhythm. We got that first touchdown drive, and then I think, the, I think in the third quarter, we only had the ball maybe four minutes. So we kind of got stagnant there. We had some three and outs. We tried running the ball to kind of eat up some clock because the defense was on the field. We're a rhythm offense, and so in hindsight, we probably should have just kept the foot on the gas a little bit more. But we won the Rose Bowl. So. Was there a moment you were worried that the outcome wasn't decided? Yeah, right down to the stretch, I was worried. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.